Mediaite and Showbuzz Daily ranked some primetime cable shows, and it's looking grim for CNN. Fox News programs, including The Five, Tucker Carlson Tonight, The Special Report with Brett Baer, and Hannity, took the top spots with each show gaining millions of views a night. And other Fox programs followed suit until the 18th ranked program MSNBC's Deadline White House. CNN doesn't appear on the list until the 25th spot excuse me, with their noon show, Inside Politics, which pulled about 900,000 viewers. On top of it, the chart also show, showed that more viewers tuned in for rerun 1 a.m. episodes of Tucker Carlson than they did for Don Lemon tonight at his primetime slot. So, yikes, not looking so good for CNN. I mean, I, this is, I think, voting really poorly for Democrats in general, not just, uh, I mean, I, I think this is like showing the, the midterms are going to be a disaster in probably 2024. Or, That's or, true, yeah. but, but it also feels like a more, just take politics out of it, which is not a thing that most people probably say when talking about competing news shows. I will say the liberal channels are not as engaging. And as someone who does independent media, who's always trying to figure out what generates clicks, what engages people, I think it has a lot to do with the fact that there is absolutely no ideological diversity on those liberal networks. But Fox News, I, I read a study some years ago, Fox News is more inclined to have a leftist on than MSNBC and CNN. It usually has a uh, liberal on its panels that I think is representative of what liberalism is, for better or for worse, as opposed to the uh, CNN, MSNBC shows, which tend to have like a never Trump Republican, which is this anomalous thing, which is basically just a neoliberal Democrat at this point. And you don't get the kind of spice and engagement that you get when you watch Fox News. Yeah, I, I agree. <laughs> I mean, Fox really figured it out. I remember right when, so in the 2016 election, so if you remember, Fox was a little, was somewhat Trump skeptical and Trump hostile. Obviously, some of the commenta uh, commentators, Hannity for one, were very pro-Trump, although pro-Ted Cruz and pro some other candidates from the get-go. But there was a lot of, you know, this is around the Megyn Kelly time, right? There was some hostility to Trump. And at that time, you saw a lot of, uh, you saw a lot of more pro-Trump media outlets not competing cable channels, but just competing kind of in the conservative media, like Breitbart, for instance, really came on strong. And I think Fox, Fox learned from that experience mm -hmm. and changed courses, started giving its viewers more of the programming that they were looking for, and then just demolished, just walloped, destroyed everyone. They own this, this, this spot now, and uh, there's, they're really just doing a, a terrific job of, of, of giving their viewers the kind of, of commentary, the kind of programming that they, that they want to watch. And also, you pointed this out, Kim, that I think many liberals feel like they have to watch Fox to understand what is going on on the right, that the Tucker's monologues are such an essential, um, are essential to understanding the direction of, of, of right-wing politics. Even if, you're, if you want to defeat right-wing politics, you have to understand what Tucker's doing. And that's just not true. It's not, you, don't, nobody has, you don't have to understand what um, what, uh, what, uh, you know, Rachel, Rachel Maddow, Maddow has to say. It's so or, predictable or, at this point. Yeah. Whoever I actually else. think Brie was the one that pointed that out. I think that was Brie that might have said that. <laughs> I don't even that, remember. Yeah. yeah. But one of you yeah. brilliant <laughs> women said that. Yes. But you disagree, Kim. Well, I just think that CNN is, I, I think that they do actually cater to their viewers. I just don't think there's very, very many people who agree with their mentality and their politics anymore that they're kind of, that they're pushing out there. But I do think that they try, I mean, they try to bring on all of these various people from the Republican side of the aisle. Uh, I mean, they're all never Trumpers. They're all they don't bring on any pro-Trump people. You're right. Though. Well, Brianna's right. They, they only bring on uh, they bring on Republicans who are willing to denounce their former right. associations with the party. Right. Yeah. Uh, right. Nicole Wallace. Yeah. 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 But they do. They 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 completely uh, raise up and turn people into heroes that are Republicans and they put yeah. them on air and they give them time slots. I mean, I think that they're trying to mix it up with, well, we're from the right and the left. But I think the problem is, is that they're, they're programming. They just, they missed the consensus of the majority of Americans. I do think that they cater to a, a certain mindset and that certain mindset loves to revel in the anti-Trump and loves to bring in Republicans into the fold who are also anti-Trump. 
But I don't think that that's the majority of Americans. I think they misread the room over the last few years. And, and, and uh, you know, and it's not totally their fault that they misread the room because we did see a lot of up. I mean, the Women's March after Trump was elected. So you'd think, oh, this is the way to go. Right. If I'm a pro if I'm ahead of programming, I'm going to say, let's do all this anti-Trump stuff because that's what people are going to be really hungry for. But people fatigued right. on that really quickly. And but then they people, were just and people like, are cutting the cord. People are not just watching TV. They don't have their TVs on all the time. A lot of people don't even consume news that way. The sorts of people who still do consume news that way are disproportionately much older than the general population and, and disproportionately more likely to be conservative or Trump supporting. And, and so it's, it's not if you're just if you're if you think of the cable news audience as just that segment of the population, then it's actually no surprise why Fox News is destroying everyone yeah. else. Right. The, and, yeah. And Kim, to well, your point and, about mm, go ahead. Well, and and also, I would say that Tucker Carlson in particular, I like watching Tucker Carlson. I watch him all the time. He's actually if I were if I had to choose which show, that's the one I would watch. And it's not. And I used to hate Tucker Carlson. I mean, honestly, hate the guy. But I've grown to appreciate him. I don't agree with him on a lot of stuff, like the immigration stuff. We definitely don't agree on. But he's so anti-establishment. At least that's the show he produces. That yeah. I think a lot of people on the right and the left appreciate that anti-establishment viewpoint. Yes. And that's what yeah. CNN is missing. That's exactly right. When you said earlier that the the liberal channels have failed to read the room and looking to the women's march. The women's march was not the movement of the era. The movement of the era was, I'm sorry, the Bernie movement in 2016 that got re rebooted in 2020. You have a solid 30% of the Democratic Party that steadfastly is supporting a more populist brand of politics. That's about the same numbers that exist on the right. Republicans aren't all populist right now, but the most fiery, energetic part of the po party is. And, and Tucker Carlson and a lot of these conservative shows cater to that, I would argue in bad faith, but cater to that kind of populist populist, um, you know, verb. On the left, people like myself are more persona non grata on CNN and MSNBC than actual Republicans like Nicole Wallace, who was- What does that fancy Bush's, word mean? Uh, I, I'm not allowed. <laughs> I'm banned. I, I'm canceled. I'm very much oh, a distasteful person. Not I, I'm literally, oh. um, you know, I, 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 have, I have been blacklisted on one of the major MSNBC sh sh shows, uh, according to a booker that tried to suggest me one time. I mean, this is where they are. They literally won't have anybody who would come on and ask basic questions about why the Democratic Party and the Biden administration is so out of touch with the state of need of voters, the state of desires of voters, and also Joe Biden's own campaign commitments. And instead, you have lobbyists after lobbyists or people who have worked for the Clinton administration trotted out as though they are offering, um, you know, opinions that are independent and that are at all aligned with what the average voter is interested in. And the, the opinions that are there for very stale and completely predictable. Oh, Joe Biden has a good excuse for not doing more. Oh, I'm sure he's doing his best. Oh, he seems like a good guy. I mean, that's what it is on repeat. Yeah. No. I, and I, I wanted to say, you know, CNN does do a lot in the sort of not hard ideological. They do a lot of good on the ground reporting. Like this uh, guy, Shimon, who we can't pronounce his last name. So sorry, we talked about him in the A Block. His reporting on Uvalde has been great. He's been grilling these police officials, just, you know, getting them to admit really horrifying and obscene things, mm -hmm. but he's doing a great job. And, and they, they have reporters like that. Yeah, this guy. Uh, he's doing fantastic work. And uh, it, the, that's the kind of reporting I'd like to see get, get more attention uh, because it, it doesn't need to have, a, it's just for the people, right? People it's want answers power. to these questions. You have to yeah, challenge and it's hard. It, it can be hard to get in. You know, that's an intimidating kind of police captain. It can be hard to get in his face and be like, look, you really effed up this whole thing. What do you have to say for yourself? So, uh, so they, they do do that, but it, 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 I think it's the commentary that is so it's predictable yeah. Yeah, that people don't mm -hmm. like. So, well, maybe it's just because they're all watching Rising instead. I think <laughs> we're, we're, uh, we're, we're storming the barracks. We're, we're coming for you, cable news. You know, that's, nobody's gonna, no need to watch TV anymore. Just unplug and fire up YouTube or wherever else. So, all right, we'll be back with more Rising right after this.